What's up, Pisces? I'm Laurel, and welcome to Laurel's Moon and this bitch. Join me as I read you your motherfucking lives, baby. Thank you to everyone who has liked, shared, commented, subscribed to my channel. You already know I appreciate each and every single one of you motherfuckers. Yes, I do, baby. And if you need to get a personal reading for me, hit that description box down below. Check out my website, laurelsmoon.com, for any other magical purposes and deviation workings and things of that nature. So, spirit, you are welcome into Piscean reading. You must sage the cards for all of my Piscean gods. All right, Pisces, I got a song for you. Yes, I do, baby. I'm going to play a little snippet of that motherfucker. Hopefully, I won't get in trouble and shit. But this is going to be for the 18th through the 30th of June 2020 up in this bitch. Barbara Walters. <laughs> All right, so this is the song I've been thinking about in my head, Pisces. I don't know if y'all going through this or not or how this song is in remembrance uh, you know, in your memories to you or whatever, baby. But this is definitely Pisces for me. Okay. Y'all remember this song? Yeah. Come on, Pisces. This my shit right here. Come on, Pisces. Talk to me. Here go my part. Uh oh. Cruel summer. Leaving me. Got a jam to a Pisces. Uh oh, talk to me. I'm about to get in trouble with the song. <laughs> Okay, so that song might have some significance to you guys, but I've been jamming that motherfucker thinking about Pisces like a motherfucker. So let's go ahead and get into it. This is going to be for the 18th through the 30th, Pisces, my loves. We're going to find out what's going on with you, the overall energy, your life's purpose up in this motherfucker, and what protection stone would be best for you for the rest of June 2020. And then we're going to take a look at your love, how they feel about you, what's to come, what you don't see things of that nature so to my pisces babies it's a cruel summer up in this motherfucker we're gonna get the overall energies with my golden girls Toto pisces for the 18th of june i didn't get any clear audience messages but i do have that some of you guys are going to be falling in love Okay, and some of you guys might be dealing with somebody you're going to be giving a hard time this summer, honey. Okay. So here we go. Pisces up in this motherfucker. Spirit, give it to me for my Pisces. What's the overall energies for my Pisceans up in this bitch? Thought I'd have a jumper, but you got the three of pentacles. Pisces, you're coming together, baby. To be working on something, you could be collaborating. That could be something that you're working on with three people. But you got the three of pentacles up in this motherfucker. These bitches is baking cakes, weed cakes, cookie cakes and shit. Okay. <laughs> but I feel like they're coming together to make something work, to have a major outcome of something sweet. Okay. So we got the three of pentacle energy here. So I feel like you're definitely building up an energy. You got the sun. You could be dealing with Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, also Virgo. Taurus, Capricorn. So some of you guys got this sun energy, this nine of pentacles up in this bitch. This is why you got that cruel summer. 
okay? Somebody is definitely loving that Pisces. For sure. They're trying to build up an energy. I feel like there's something that's being exposed here of your happiness. And a lot of you guys are understanding essentially what needs to come into place with the Nine of Pentacles here. This is surrounding yourself with a lot of materialistic items, things that you have made come into fruition, Pisces. I feel like some of you guys are looking around you and you're being very appreciative and giving much gratitude to what you have desired, okay? So, some of you guys could be taking a rest, taking a break as well, okay? Needing to lay your motherfucking burdens down and get you a nice martini and a nice drink, okay? It just could be a cool drink of water, Pisces, but I love it. You got the sun energy here. She got her little dranky drank, so she could become to some sort of truth or an amends with how she feels about things. Okay, he or she, Pisces. Talk to me, darling. So, I'm seeing a lot of exposure. Some of you guys might be taking pictures as well. Okay, but just enjoying the sun, enjoying the possibilities that are surrounding you, Pisces. A lot of you guys could be dealing with uh, daisies or flowers could be very important. Also keeping protection around you as well, but feeling relaxed all at the same fucking time, Pisces, is what I'm getting here. But some of you guys have some major things that are being built up. So you're, it looks to me like you have a lot of new beginnings. There could be people that are watching you. It could be third-party situations that's had to walk away as well, Pisces. But let's see what the life purpose cards have to say. Like I said, some of you guys could be... Um, Dealing with needing protection stones, okay, or finding ways of protection, putting up certain barriers as well that's going to make you feel uh, protected from, you know, any spiritual blockages. You have practice here, okay, so polish your skills by practicing regularly. So I know most Pisces have a routine of some sort, whether that's polishing your nails, brushing your teeth, there's something, whether you're trying new things, you guys are definitely going to be practicing some things and it's opening up some portals in order for you all to be prepared, okay? Especially with this practice. Y'all already know that saying practice makes motherfucking perfect. But Pisces, you have some things um, you might need to get off creatively. This could be art an expression within your career that might be changing as well. But I feel like there's going to be a lot of healing energy for some of you guys. You could be natural motherfucking born healers, Pisces. And I'm seeing that you're going to be having a lot of creative expression. You could be an artist, okay? But your life's purpose is definitely be your motherfucking self and be creative. Some of y'all might, I'm getting like handbags with these options. Some of you guys might be thinking about handbags. I'm also seeing painters as well or somebody that's thinking about wings but i feel like it's a situation you're gonna have to let go of and use a lot of your spiritual gifts and creative expression and artistic expression with practice you're going to be perfecting some things here okay also could be talking to your spirit guys talking to your angels as well you have crystals your connections to crystals and gemstones is a channeling for healing energy so you might be using crystals or stones on on your jar work or whatever the fuck you do pisces okay you might put them in your coochie you might put them under your bed i don't know what y'all do with y'all crystals but just know that it might be time to charge them as well because we do have a new moon that's popping on the 21st which is coming into cancetians new energy so get your ass ready we're in gemini energy still but we're be, we'll be moving into the cancetian moon on the 21st of june which is a new moon you might be charging those crystals up some of you guys might be dealing with animals as well i'm getting some of you all need to write a fucking book about your life as well or somebody is definitely publishing some things or there's some authors or publishers uh, that you're working with or there's something being built up here like i said with that three of pentacles okay so let's see uh what's going on in your love life i'm going to get the romance angels but before i do that i shall not forget i'm going to get your protection stone for my lovely pisces now we all know that you guys stone is amethyst one of your stones are amethyst but we're going to get the protection stone that might be uh influential to you 
for the rest of June. Let's see what's going on with my Pisces. I'm just going to pick one randomly out of the book. Here we go. Oh, my fucking goodness. This is the very first one. Pisces, talk to me, baby. So your birthstone, okay, or even if this in, is in your moon sign, it might be very significant to you. Amethyst, you already know it blocks a lot of negative influences that could be around you. This also helps calm the nervous system and the brain and eases the brain from migraines and headaches. And it also opens up the third eye chakra. The color purple is the chakra, the crown chakra color. So do not forget, baby. It's definitely embracing a lot of spiritual awareness as well, okay? So the effects is that you can put it on your head, on the top of your head to expand the consciousness of your awareness. It's also saying that if you put it in a circle around your body, it could become a protective, it could create a protective field, okay? So carry an amethyst to help calm mental stress, place under the pillow, what I say, to improve the quality of sleep as well. So some of you guys might be dreamers. You might be uh, lucid dreamers. You might be uh, astral travelers as well, Pisces. It's definitely saying that that might be a stone that could be utilized for you. Like I said, I love me some amethyst, baby. Okay, yes, I do. So uh, some of you guys could be thinking about pyramids. You could be thinking about Egypt as well, or the color purple could be very significant. I'm also seeing... Um, there could be some wide varieties or uh, things that you're thinking about in your spiritual field that you're wanting to expand in. And I feel like the amethyst might be something to definitely help you. And also a rose quartz, okay? Everybody knows the rose quartz is definitely all about love. So there could be some sort of, you know, love or stress that you're trying to release, okay? It also could uh, be helping the body with giving you love and encouraging you of how to expand your love or how to do things in a proper way for you individually all right so let's see what the romance angels have to say for my motherfucking pisces here we go romance angels up in this bitch give it to me for my pisces it's a cruel summer up you got to give your relationship a chance. So I'm getting some of you Pisces are not giving anybody any chances. Like, bitch, you're going to do right by me the first time. Or I ain't working on a damn thing. Or you're going to be the motherfucker who needs to work on something. That's what I'm seeing with your partnerships. It also could be somebody who, who you feel you need to be a little bit more lightly um, playful. Or just adjust yourself to different um, ways and levels of love, Pisces, is what I'm seeing here. But some of you guys... Are definitely needing to work on your partnership and give it a chance i'm also seeing if you some of you all could be single or you feel as though you need to open your heart a little bit more to others you're definitely going to see that attraction that's coming to you. you might not see it in that moment but somebody is definitely watching to see that attraction attract to you and that magnetic that magnet that's going to attract to you especially if you cast things out into the fucking universe pisces you already know so some of you guys might be giving up on a relationship or there could be some deeper issues between you and your partner that you're going through this could be things from childhood stemming from childhood it's saying your love life benefits as you forgive your parents so both of you guys could be going through some struggles within your relationship that causes some sort of healing or just trying to get to know each other okay and there's that codependency card i don't know if you guys have taken a look at some of the videos that i've been posting they haven't necessarily been about motherfucking tarot all the damn time but i do post videos that are pertaining to relationships of what i do get in the card so i got this codependency card this could be seen in black and white okay with seeing the good side or the bad side of a relationship there's always negative aspects there's always debilitations in somebody's chart or in somebody's just overall characteristics that they might have this could be seeing that lower level energy of somebody who's being a succubus so you might be seeing that codependency whether good or bad you're going to be seeing what is healthy and what is not okay i'm also seeing how you need to work on some of you guys need to work on your trust as well y'all know i'm gonna give it to you motherfucking straight some of you guys could be working on a honeymoon and it's also saying this could be the one so you might be dealing with somebody that you went back in full circle with trying to fix a motherfucker's characteristics and let things be a little bit more lighthearted. but i feel some of you guys are letting too much 
um, manifest and it's time to have a real conversation with what you want, Pisces. So let's see. Some of you guys might be freeing yourself from a situation and forgiving someone at the same time. And I feel on the other hand, you're dealing with a soulmate energy. Okay. But I'm also seeing that you're freeing yourself with your individuality as well. So you could be uh, trying to balance and maintain both of those within your partnerships. Let's see what's popping with my Pisces in love. How do they feel about Pisces for the 18th to the 30th of June? How do they feel about my Pisces? I feel like um, your partner definitely has a lot of regrets, but you got the Ace of Wands here. Okay, so they definitely feel like it's time to get things going. You have a new balance or a new energy that's coming in that's going to cause some growth here. A lot of, um, for me, I feel you could be dealing with a Leo Sagittarius, Aries, somebody who's spread, they spread like wildfire when they tell you information, but you have to be prepared is what I'm getting here. So some of you guys might have to prepare for the information or the growth that you've been receiving Okay, dealing with this person definitely could be a sexual energy that you're ready for this new turn on or to or a new leaf that you're trying to turn over. You could be dealing with Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. I'm also seeing somebody who might be trying to get their financial coin together, but at the same time, they're always needing some sort of help. But I feel like you could be dealing with somebody that's wanting, um, you know, this financial uh, outcome. Some of you guys are definitely, because I got the Five of Wands energy here and the Nine of Cups. So there's somebody that feels as though you're bringing things into alignment, but also with the Five of Wands, there could be some struggles with other people that is not really of a concern, but it's more so of somebody who needs to take care of their motherfucking business first. But I definitely feel like this person sees you as very tempting with this double energy here, Ace of Wands. So it's going to be a lot of sex for a lot of you Pisces dealing with this person. I also feel like there could be that lower level energy of that codependency. Okay. But I'm also seeing that, you know, you're going to have to put the trust into the universe and speak it into existence of what you want, whether it's toxic or healthy. Okay. Like I said once before, but they definitely feel like you could have a, a lot of things that they fantasize about or have fetishes about with this double energy and also ace of wands. Okay. So let's see what's to come. I also, um, I'm getting there's something being built up in a partnership. I feel like somebody's definitely upset about a situation made off of a final decision uh, with a possible Scorpio or somebody that um, is wanting to, uh-oh, ram that motherfucking engine, baby. You got the death energy here, okay? I feel like um, skulls could be very significant for some of you Pisces, but I feel like what's to come is there's some sort of energy that you're making a final decision to that you could have been imbalanced or feeling like you've had uh, some insecurities towards making a decision. And I feel you're going to be popping right, springing right back up into who you really are with this magician, okay? That's what's to come. Now, I feel... There, it, this could go two ways. Um, the magician energy here could indicate some sort of con artistry. But since he's upright, I feel somebody is wanting to manifest. They could have been that person that uh, definitely have been going back and forth in their head. They didn't know what the fuck they wanted. Definitely a lot of confusion, a lot of tricky energy, a lot of car salesman type of energy selling you uh, fool's gold. Okay. But with this magician energy here. And also the Queen of Cups, I feel somebody is definitely disheartened towards you making a situation back right. Because I'm getting white roses here or somebody that's thinking about white roses or um, death could be significant with white roses. Okay, or it could be Scorpio. Also uh, Aries energy here, but I feel what's to come is somebody is definitely jealous with what has manifested. You have the Empress so I feel like somebody is uh, being knocked down on that pedestal and they're definitely jealous with what's going on with you, Pisces, because you're in your motherfucking comfort zone with this Empress energy, but this Queen of Cups and this Magician, somebody is definitely trying to like 
manipulate someone's emotions or their emotions are definitely manipulated and I sense a lot of jealousy coming off the cards, especially with this Ten of Wands. So just be careful with that. I'm also seeing with the High Priestess and the Eight of Wands, some of you guys are blocking off a lot of negative energy. This could be Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Yeah, Six, six of Wands in reverse. This is jealousy here of someone's success. I feel like you guys are blocking that out. This could be people that um, have been watching you or following you, seeing a lot of admiration for quite some time. I'm also getting Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. Oh, we got a message, baby. We got the Ace of Pentacles here. So I'm definitely getting, there could be a new offer or beginning that somebody is definitely jealous of. This could be many people. But I'm also seeing Pisces. You got people that are watching some success of yours or offers that are that are here. It could be Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. That's definitely angry about a situation, feeling feeling left out in the cold, or a shakeup that could have happened between a lover's situation. You got the lover's energy here, and also the Nine of Wands. Something that's starting to unravel in a better energy, or it could be under spirit that this connection is connected. But I definitely feel what's to come is somebody's very. Um, angry about a situation here leo sagittarius aries this could have been like some sort of side bitch or something like that or this could be a mom or this could be a witchy type of energy as well with this queen of wands i'm seeing somebody with cats but something's definitely coming back up that someone was left out in the cold and this could be what you know you're having to free yourself from especially a sagittarian energy Let's see what you don't see. We got Ten of Pentacles. Well, damn, Six of Cups. Damn. Some of you guys got the days of our lives popping off. You got someone from the past that's wanting to hold you and cherish you, Pisces. Earrings could be very significant as well, too. Pearl earrings. And also flowers different types of flowers I'm getting white and pink but I'm also seeing with the ten of pentacles you got some sort some sort of money trees here this could be somebody who's trying to bring in some sort of legacy okay is what you don't see they're trying to make the situation pop you got Leo Sagittarius Aries but I feel a lot of you guys are happy in your independence or you're wanting a little bit of independence so let's see about possible outcomes I'm going to get this other deck. Possible outcomes for my Pisces. Yeah, somebody is very um, jealous. Keep seeing the Three of Swords. Even in that deck. Um, but yeah, very jealous that you've obtained something here with this Ace of Pentacles. This could be money. This could be a job, Pisces. But you guys are fucking winning. Even a kitty cat got some gold. Okay. Leo Sagittarius Aries. I'm definitely getting Leo energy here. This could be an outside entity as well. Some of you guys might have went viral or there could be something that goes viral. Some sort of exposure here with the sun and the hair fonts. I'm definitely getting that your, your person could have Leo in their rising, their moon sign. Sun. Yeah, somebody's definitely jealous, Pisces. I see you minding your own motherfucking business and somebody is coming in trying to like rain on your parade. But you got the Ten of Cups here and the Hermits unfucking bothered. I feel some of you guys might be taking a break from family or there could be something that's um, transpiring on the outside, you know, there's you're waiting for the smoke to clear, but I'm seeing a lot of tranquil energy here with the Ten of Cups. This could be a lot of family um, vacations. This could also be uh, just getting some outdoor, outdoorsy type of vibe. Could be drinking some what, some more too as well, Pisces, or just um, feeling fruitful because you have the Ace of Swords and the Hermit energy. This is that spiritual connection for sure. 
Ace of Swords, seeing doves, Queen of Pentacles, Two of Pentacles. So I'm seeing you guys definitely teeter-tottering between a family situation of how you're either going to be about your financial status, keeping yourself in fruition, which is, you know, the material things that you love, that you need, that you desire. Um, I feel like you got a stash box of some motherfucking money. For some of you guys, you're connecting with your spirit guides. You also might be having a little owl on your shoulder telling you some information that you need. Okay, this could be through smoke. This also could be through communication with the ancestors, with the universe, with the sword energy here. This could be talking as well too, but I'm seeing something going on with a family scenario uh, with some sort of exposure here. Or someone being exposed of how they really want a family situation. Because you have the emperor. And I'm also getting somebody wants to control you. Or there's a controlling type of energy. They want certain things their way. But they won't necessarily fulfill their end of the bargain. But I'm getting three of swords, six of wands. So definitely a lot of jealousy up in this bitch. Somebody is being shown the jealousy. And I feel like uh, they're going to be called out on their motherfucking shit. You're going to have karma coming to them because you have the Ten of Pentacles. I feel like you're achieving a lot. You guys are fucking winning, Pisces. So definitely a, a lot of love with those rose quartz and also spiritual connections uh, with the amethyst. This is talking to your ancestors, things of that nature. All right, Pisces, I'm going to get on out of here. I love you guys oh so much. You already know I had to start out with you. And I hope that this information was vital. And I will see you guys in the next motherfucking video. Peace.